good morning friends welcome back to bahu automation lab the third session of uh, test ninja lectures uh, we'll try to learn parameterization in test ninja practically okay in the previous two sessions we have already seen what is test ninja why do we need test ninja in selenium what are the benefits of using test ninja and test ninja analysis okay if you not watch previous two lectures so guys watch previous lecture two lecture first and then come to this session okay so let's try to understand what is parameterization why we need a parameterization in test ninja this uh, one is very important and uh, uh while we working with the real time framework the parameterization uh, sh should be used while if you use a test ng framework okay so let's do this practically this is very important uh, questions for a interview perspective as, uh, as well so do this practically so that you can answer any question related to the test ng uh, like annotations like parameterization anything so we have already created this class test ng demo in the la last two lectures okay where we have already explained what is the uh annotations and how many annotations uh, in the test engine and how the execution flow is executed through this test engine xml file okay so if i run this uh, test engine xml file it will um, print out the execution flow uh, how the test engine annotations um, will get work like before suit after set before class up before method one method then after method again before method and the second method and uh, again after method after class after test and after suit this is the flow of uh, test ng annotation execution right so now let's try to learn parameterization why parameterization is important in test ng okay so uh, we have two test cases here like uh, one test is for supplier and one test is for calculator okay so we'll write a practical test cases here okay real time test cases as per the your application you can write uh, test cases but uh, i have one dummy test cases already created here like uh, Uh, for calculator dot uh, net website okay where we are working with currency calculator okay so i'll just copy and then paste that test here okay uh, because it will take lots of time to write down whole, whole test if you want to write down you can uh, just write down uh, as per this steps okay and the testing control shift to to import all the imports re uh, required to uh, this particular test so what this particular test uh, exactly does so i'll just open uh, like a browser a uh, new browser okay i'll just paste this uh, calculator.net url in the browser okay when you go, go to the calculator dot uh, net currency calculator url if i set the amount here like a 50 or to uh, like a 200 if if we can say and select from usd to convert into the ina so this is uh, basically currency converter and if i click on this calculator it will calculate that her 200 usd is equal to 15522 ina and uh, 200 ina is equal to uh, two point uh, like something uh, 57684 usd okay this is how this calculator is work okay so basically what uh, this script does so it will uh, open that uh, url in the uh, browser and clear that amount section and enter the 15 in that amount section and convert this uh, through this uh, convert this this uh, usd currency to the uh, inr currency uh, through this clicking on the calculator uh, button okay simple so this is a simple script we have already written okay so you don't worry about this you can try, um, create a parameterization for your particular website as well whatever you are working or whatever you are using but for practice purpose this is the very good uh, website okay so this is how we have flow okay i am not wasting the time to write all this flow because it is a uh, simple to like dot find elements and uh, find by id and uh, find by text path and then just click on this uh, uh, setting clearing this text box and uh, setting 50 amount here and selecting this usd selecting this inr and click on this calculator button so this is the basic step we have done in this uh, cal uh, calculator script right so if i run this uh, particular script it will uh, let's check whether we are able to click uh, and calculate that 50 through this 50 uh, uh, amount into the usd or not okay so it's open and uh, running and opening the currency converter dot net and yes it's clicking on the calculator button and it's converting it so what happened in this script and why we required a parameterization okay right so in this script we have directly showing this url to the user as well as what amount we are uh, setting in the same keys or this text box we can um, we have already set up in the this 
particular script itself okay so i don't want to show this url to the user i don't want to show this uh, like uh, send key amount uh, to the user as well and uh, we want to do some parameterization so that uh, hide this amount from this script okay so we can do the parameterization in test engine so how to do that so let's go to the test engine xml file we require two parameters here one is uh, like for this url and the second one is for this amount okay just two data we are setting for this particular test so uh, let's go to the test and type over here tag like parameter parameter and just set name is equal to let's say first of all we required url and uh, value for this url is equal to let's say uh, the syntax is like this so close bracket okay. so name is url parameter name is you uh, is equal to url and the value we can and simply pass the value what we required to pass is directly in here okay so let's type this in double quote because this is the url right a name and uh, just pass this here, that url here just copy from here okay again we require second parameter here so i'll just copy in this code and paste it out here uh to type again and again and we required a parameter like this amount right so let's say you are you amount and uh, value for that amount is equal to let's say 50 okay. so we have created two parameters for this test uh, particular test okay and uh, url uh this is the var value and this amount okay and in the uh, test demo file we require to pass param parameters for this test so let's say type parameters annotation at the rate let's say parameters okay we require to send two parameters so i'll just create it here in bracket let's pass uh, first parameter is equal to copy the same name which is we have type here like url and uh, then comma second parameter let's say amount perfect and paste it here just close this bracket here and so we we created two parameters here and uh, we required to pass that both parameter in here okay so first parameter is string url and second parameter is equal to string amount right now let's remove this uh, url from here and pass this url only dot dot get url and remove this uh, send key amount from here and just send amount which is we have parameters so how this flow is exactly uh, going on so whenever you run this test in xml file it will check first of all for the parameter so we will take that uh, name from here url and it will store that in this url and this url will be passed to this uh, parameterized which is we have already set up for this uh, calculator a particular test so that value of that url it will be come to this url and it will store in this url and it will directly pass to this particular uh, section like driver dot git that url same way uh, the value of second like second parameter amount it will check what is the exactly value for amount and it will store in this amount and pass to this uh, second parameter and it will pass into here right so we have uh, already set up this parameterization let's uh, run and we have already hide uh, the things which is directly passing here uh, in this particular script so run this test in xml file and see whether we are able to successfully parameterize this test or not it's running it's opening calculator dot net url yes it's clear it's set up 50 and yes here we go we have successfully run and successfully parameterized the test and it will be showing the calculator okay. so this is how we can uh, parameterize your test using test ng xml file if you have